Welcome to a boxing unboxing video where we put the product in the box and then take it out of the box. This was picked up at the Retro World Gaming Expo in Wallingford, Connecticut over the October 3rd, 2015 weekend. This was picked up over the 8-Bit Evolution booth where they had a bunch of reproduction carts. I was super excited to see, see Secret of Mana 2. I had the original that I played so much as a kid and loved it. Anyway, this is a reproduction cart and we're going to put it in the box to take it out of the box and then I will open up the cartridge so we can see what it looks like and then we'll also compare it to a, another original Super Nintendo cartridge to just see how it all looks and compares. So now let's go ahead and get ready to put this box together so we can put the cartridge inside of it just to take it back out. Before we can unbox our cartridge, first we must box it. So here is the cardboard insert for this and it appears that there is a little indent here and this is where the cartridge is going to sit and this must be the back and we will go ahead and see if we can figure out this this opens up okay so this opens up and starts to become three-dimensional like that okay and these tabs fold down so let's go ahead and put that tab in there and maybe that'll stay all right there's that and that side let's do the other side Okay, so these tabs. It's this little tab right here, this little slit. It goes into that little slit there. All right, there we go. All right, so then this will, this flap here folds down. This one automatically gets pulled back and we'll fold this one off to the side like that. All right, so there we go. That is the cardboard insert for Secret of Mana 2. And let's go ahead and put the cartridge in there. Now I bet you that the cartridge will probably sit in the box like this so that the bottom is protected. Now this is not in here tight. That will fall out. But there we go. So that first part is done. So let's go ahead and now box the box. So here is the box. Let's take a nice look at it before we put it together. So this is printed on a glossy cardboard. Uh, let's see if we can check out the print quality. Print quality looks to be pretty good and it does say that this is a, a reproduction of a fan-made game. So this is the English translated version of Secret of Mana 2. And here's the back with a screenshot. So you can tell that this is definitely you know fan art as well. Um, here's the front. The Super Nintendo logo there. And okay, so there's that as well. So some of the stuff, you know, doesn't look like it would have been a Nintendo originally, but you know, overall the art is pretty good. The cardboard quality is, you know, it's definitely a cardboard box. And it, you know, that's exactly what it is. It's a box. Let's go ahead and button up one of the sides so we can put the cartridge in it. There we go. Our Secret of Mana 2 box. Okay, so now let's open the box, put the game inside, so we can unbox it. Okay, let's go ahead and box the game so we can unbox it. And I wish this did have I wish this came with an instruction manual that would have really topped this off. All right. There we go. Let's see if we can do that without ruining the box. All right, there we go. It's in there. All right. Let's cut away and pretend that we're opening up a brand new game box. Oh look, a brand new Secret of Mana 2. We should totally open this and check it out and see what it looks like inside. Here's the side of the box, the front of the box. 
this fan made game even received received an E rating. Here's the back of the box. Oh, and that other side there. Let's see. Yeah, it is labeled that this is a reproduction of a fan made game. Okay. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Ooh, look at that, a brand new game. Let's take a look and see how it looks. So here we go, Secret of Mana 2, and this was uh, purchased from 8-Bit Evolution. The PCB looks to be extremely clean. I'm not sure if they used a donor cartridge or an original. We'll have to open it up and see what it is. This is a reproduction mold. There's no Nintendo logo here. Um, it looks slightly different. Let me grab a Super Nintendo cartridge so we can compare. So uh, right next to it is Breath of Fire. So it's another Squaresoft game. A couple things that stand out to me are the label. So this part here uh, is a little more prominent on the reproduction cart. Uh, the red is slightly off, but real close. I mean, it, you're never going to really tell. It does have the quality seal there. So there's that red on the other one, if you can kind of tell. Um, the Breath of Fire actually has a purple bar across the top versus the red one. And a purple triangle there and a red triangle there. I'm not sure what the color coding meant. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. Let's take a look at the backs. So let's see. They do have the label on the back of the Breath of Fire. And this one also has a label, but again, no logo there. Uh, the plastic seems to be a little more rounded. Not by much, just ever so slightly. Like you can tell it definitely was a mold. Um, these clips here look a little bit different on the original. They look a little bit bigger on the original and smaller on the reproduction. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can see anything else. It just seems like the texture got a little bit more washed out on the reproduction cart than it does on the original. I mean, overall, this looks like a, a nice quality reproduction. I mean, it feels like a Super Nintendo game and they feel pretty close so there you go and I'll even compare it to the original Secret of Mana so there's the original Secret of Mana here and that one also has the purple bar different the different square soft logo the larger one um, also the you know the gray Super Nintendo logo here is a little bit lighter and now that's about that. I, do, I really don't care for that Secret of Mana 2 title blocking. That's like Microsoft Word Art or something. Anyway, so the next thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to open up the Secret of Mana 2 cartridge so we can actually take a look at it and see what it looks like inside. So on the left I have an original Secret of Mana cartridge and on the right is Secret of Mana 2. I'm going to open both of them up side by side so we can see what they look like on the inside. Uh, both are using the traditional Super Nintendo security screw that requires that special security bit to get open. So let's go ahead and open up the Secret of Mana first. Okay, so this is a decently sized PCB uh, for this era. And it does have a battery on it. So this is the Secret of Mana cartridge, and that's an original battery in there, uh, and with it soldered on. I notice that we've got a couple of chipsets here, and you know, just kind of our our reference for what a Super Nintendo cartridge looks like. Um, they do stamp it 1993 Nintendo on it, so you know what it is. Uh, you know it is an official Nintendo cartridge. And let's go ahead and 
take a look at the other one. Now I will tell you that I did open this up just recently and I do want to point out that the cartridge insides are also a little bit different. But before we do that, here are the two different boards that they're using. This is obviously a reproduction PCB here, printed circuit board. And on the other side, we can actually see the battery that is on here. Now, the nice thing about this, and I'm glad that they used this forward thinking to do this, that you can actually replace this battery. That's just a battery holder. In fact, sometimes when I do my battery holder mods, this is the same style battery holder that I actually use. So that's nice to know that you can actually just go ahead and when the battery dies in this, you can replace it. So that's nice. Because this is a reproduction board, I mean, this edge is pristine. It's a pristine um, game board that's only been plugged in maybe a couple of times to be tested. Uh, it looks like on the side here is how they would have programmed it, and maybe you would you know, connect that this part to the way that they burn the ROM, and they would burn the ROM onto the circuit board. Um, all these chips look like their surface mount. Those resistors look like their surface mount versus the original. So, I mean, there's no solder going through. So versus the original, which is using your traditional through-hole soldering. So that's, you know, if you're going to work on this, you can actually desolder every single one of those chips. You can desolder the battery and all that. So that's that. Uh, well, the next thing I want to point out to you, so I'm going to put both of these PCBs off to the side, is the cartridge. Now, let me take these screws out so I don't lose them. But the Super Nintendo, original Super Nintendo cartridge, only has two tabs here at the top. Okay. The Secret of Mana 2 reproduction cart has the two tabs here at the top. It also has a tab down here on the side. This tab down here on the side actually made the case to get uh, rather difficult to get open to the point where I'm sitting there going, gee, there's only two tabs usually. What's going on? Why won't this open up? Uh, that was because there's two other tabs on the side that actually hold it in rather tight. So this case is a little bit more to get open, but you know, it takes an extra couple minutes, whereas the other ones just pop right off. But that's the one, you know, one of the differences. Um, if we look at the backs of the two uh, cartridge molds here, the one on the left is the original. And the one on the right is the reproduction. Um, at first glance, you know, everything looks pretty good. You can see other mold marks that they used on the reproduction. Um, the thickness of the reproduction actually feels a little bit thicker. It feels like it's got a little bit more weight to it. But other than that, you know, everything lines up. You would I don't know if how easily you'd be able to use a reproduction cartridge top on an existing back just because of the tabs here. That might make your life a little bit difficult. Even if I look at the bottom, so here's the bottom of the reproduction cart. They do have spots down here for where the tab actually you know, clicks in. Whereas the original does not have that tab. So this is the reproduction in the back and this is the original with no extra clip there. So that's the inside of the Secret of Mana 2 and an original Secret of Mana cartridge just for comparison. All right, let's put the cartridge in. It feels nice. So I'm not gonna go ahead and play the game because I don't have a good video capture card, but anyway, I do wanna show you what it looks like when the game starts. So I'm going to let this go through and do its thing and you can see how the whole game starts.
So this is the new game screen. You have several different characters to choose from. And that's about all I know so far because I haven't played it. Anyway, that hopefully that gives you an idea. And you can go from there. Hopefully that is useful to you and you have now seen what a reproduction cartridge looks like. And you know how to box and then unbox your reproduction cartridge so you can have all that fun too. Thanks a lot guys. Take it easy and hope you enjoyed. And by the way, I'd like to say thank you to the first 100 subscribers that I've had. It's been fun and I can't believe that I've actually got to 100. Thanks a lot guys.